While it's still hard for many of us to believe, the billionaire game show host Donald Trump is now president of the U.S. empire, and he's already looking to pack his administration with outliers of the GOP, extreme right-wing hawks like Rudy Giuliani, John Bolton, and Newt Gingrich. Without a doubt, Trump won because of the absolute failure of the Democratic Party. With the majority of the country suffering from the ravages of neoliberalism and Wall Street, they forced down our throats a candidate that was the very epitome of Wall Street insider elitism. The DNC totally repudiated the wave of new progressive voters that had been inspired to get involved, and they refused to acknowledge key issues for Americans. As a result, Democratic Party voters stayed home, completely uninspired by Hillary Clinton's campaign of fear-mongering and status quo politics. In fact, six million less Democratic voters came out for Hillary than they did for Obama in 2012. With the Trump presidency, the rights of women, immigrants, workers, LGBTQ people, Muslims, and more are under severe threat from both the policies he said he'll introduce and from far-right supporters emboldened by his rhetoric. But the pundits and politicians who told us he's a dangerous fascist who can't be trusted are now telling us to unite with him and give his policies a chance, including Hillary Clinton herself. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Millions are rejecting Trump around the country. Dozens of high schools have held walkouts, and many major cities have erupted into mass protests. Just as the political and military establishment feared from a President Trump, a new resistance movement is being born.